Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this type of very simple looking paintbrush title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and without wasting any time, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main comp and set it 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 60 frame per second and duration make it 5 second. Hit OK. And now let's take one more composition. So go to composition, new composition and this is going to be our background. So let's call it BZ and set it 1920 by 1080 frame rate 60 duration make it 5 second and hit ok and now let's import an image file that we want to use as a background so go to project window right click on that go to import file and select your image file so in this case i'm using this one that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import and drag this image into this background composition and then go to your main composition and drag this background comp into this main composition and now let's make it black and white so go to effect and preset and search for black and white effect or you can also search for tint so this is that tint effect let's apply this effect on this image and make it black and white and now let's create a scale animation on it so go to the end of this animation and select this background layer hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value something around 120 percent and hit enter all right and as you can see we have a nice scale animation on it and now select this background layer hit t on the keyboard to open this opacity and let's set this opacity 20 percent and hit enter and now let's create a stroke animation so go to project window again and right click on that go to import file and let's import brush stroke png file so i'm using this brush stroke png file and i will provide a link in the description so download this stroke from that link and click on import and drag this stroke into this main composition and now let's animate this so we have to create a shape according to this brush stroke so select this paint tool and let's draw a polygon shape like that and change this field to solid color and turn off this stroke all right and now right click on this click on rename and let's call it shape hit enter and now go to effect and preset again and search for displays so this is a turbulence displays let's apply this effect on this shape layer and let's do some settings so change this displacement to horizontal displacement and set this amount 150 and set this size 15 percent and now set this complexity something around 10 and hit enter and as you can see it's looking like a brush stroke all right and now let's animate the shape so select the shape layer go to on one second hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position and go to very beginning of this animation and just drag this outside of this frame over here maybe and as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make some more interesting animations so select this keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on this and check this option edit a speed graph all right and now select this point and hold this handle and drag it like that and close this graph editor and let's play this again all right so it's looking much more interesting and then select this stroke png file and go to track mat if you can't see this track mat then click on this toggle switch edge and change this track mat to alpha mat all right and now let's close this and let's play this again and select this stroke png file and select the shape layer right click on that and click on pre-compose and let's call it a stroke a 
stroke one and check this option move all attributes hit ok all right and now let's apply gradient ramp effect on it so select this stroke one and go to effect go to generate and add a gradient ramp on it and now let's pick a nice gradient color so pick this start color and set it pink and set this end color red baby and hit ok and create a nice gradient color like this all right and now select this stroke one and just drag it over here and hit r on the keyboard to open this rotation property and let's rotate it like this and place it over here and now let's create a duplicate of this stroke so hit ctrl d to duplicate right click on that rename and let's call it a stroke 2 hit enter and drag it down and set it over here like that and right click on this second stroke and go to transform and click on this flip horizontally and now select this stroke 2 and select this effect gradient ramp and let's change this gradient point and let's create a variation of this gradient color and now select this stroke 1 hit ctrl d to duplicate and right click on that click on rename and let's call it a stroke 3 hit enter and drag this stroke 3 over on this stroke 2 all right and now just drag it down and set it over here like that and select this stroke 3 and select this gradient ramp effect and let's change this gradient point basically create a color variation for each brushes all right and now select this stroke 2 hit ctrl d to duplicate and drag this stroke over on this stroke 3 all right and now just drag it over here and set it like that and do the same thing for this so just select this gradient and change this gradient point and now it's looking like this and now let's play this and as you can see all these brushes revealing at same time so i want to create a time gap between each brushes so go to on 15 frame and just drag this second stroke on frame number 15 and go to 15 frame forward in time and just drag this third stroke on frame number 30 and go to 15 frame forward in time on frame number 45 and just drag this stroke for over here on frame number 45 and let's play this again and as you can see it's looking much more better all right and now select all these stroke layer and right click on that and click on pre-compose and let's call it strokes and check this option move all attributes hit ok all right and now we have to create a rectangular shape over here so select this rectangle tool and change this field to none and set this stroke to solid color and set this stroke color pure white and set this stroke thickness 15 pixel maybe and let's create a rectangle shape like that and now right click on this shape layer rename and let's call it a square hit enter and select this square and go to alignment and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically if you can't see this align option then go to window and check this option align all right and now click on this add button and add a trim path effect and open this trim path and go to on three second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on end property and go to on one second and set this end value zero percent and hit enter all right and now select these both keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor and select this point and hold this handle and drag it like that and create a nice smooth curve and close this graph editor and let's close this one and let's play this again so as you can see it's looking something like this and now select this stroke and select this move tool and just drag it over here and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it up and set this paint brush stroke like that all right and now hold this point and just set it 
like this and now select the shape layer and i want to create a mask over here to cut this part but as you know we can't apply any mask directly on the shape layer so select this shape layer right click on this and click on pre comp and let's call it square and check this option move all attributes hit ok and just drag this square below this stroke and now let's create one more copy of this square so hit ctrl d to duplicate and drag this square over on this stroke all right and select this stroke and let's create a mask over here on this area like this and select this second copy of this square and hit m on the keyboard to open this mask property and check this option inward and as you can see it's looking something like this all right and now select this stroke hit s again and let's down the size a bit and select this move tool and just set it like this and now we have to create a text so click on this blank area and select this text tool and select your favorite font style so in this case i am using this century gothic which is my favorite font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want and set it to bold and set the size of this font 130 pixel and set this character spacing 100 all right and now let's type over here whatever you want to type all right and now select this text layer and go to align and click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically and set this text in center and now select this text layer and go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow so this is our drop shadow effect let's apply this drop shadow on this text layer and now let's do some settings so just set this distance 15 and set this softness 25 and set this opacity 25% and now let's animate this text so select this text layer open this open this text and click on this animate button and add a opacity parameter and set this opacity 0 and hit enter and go to on 3 second and open this arrange selector and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a start property and set this start value 100 hit enter and go to on one second and set this start value 0 and hit enter and let's play this and as you can see we have a text animation something like this all right and now open this advance and and here is our random order so let's turn on this random order and let's play this again all right so it's looking like this and now let's close this text and now we have to create a null object that is going to be our transform layer so go to layer new and take a new null object and let's call it transform hit enter and select all these layer and just leave this background only and pick this pick whip and attach this with transform and select this transform go to the end of this animation hit s on the keyboard and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this value 110 percent and hit enter all right and now let's close this and as you can see we have a scale animation on this one also all right and now let's create one more thing so just go to layer new and take a new adjustment layer and let's call it color hit enter and go to effect and preset and search for hue and saturation effect so this is our hue and saturation let's apply this hue and saturation on this color and now we can change the color of this paintbrush easily from here as you can see and we have to turn on motion blur for all these layers so turn on this motion blur button and click on this toggle switches and turn on motion blur for all these layer and it's almost done so click on this fit button and go to full screen and let's have a look 
all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye